Hello friends, welcome to Gardening with Creekside. I am Jenny and today we are going to be talking about the new Proven Winners shrubs for 2021 that are ready for purchase and ready for you to put in your landscape here at Creekside Nursery. These are some really exciting shrubs. We have put I think all of these in our landscape so far and have been growing them and are super happy with them and I am excited to share them with you. I know that you have heard about these before um, but they are here at the nursery like I said they are ready for purchase they are nice and beautiful so we're gonna go through and talk about these new introductions um, that surely will find a place in your garden now I think we're just gonna work from end to end starting on this side we have this beautiful look at this hydrangea this is the um, brand new Lime Light Prime. So Lime Light Prime is the newest addition to the Lime Light family. We all know, love, and understand what a great line that the Lime Light hydrangeas are. So right here, what we did is we actually put, this is the original traditional Lime Light hydrangea. This is Lime Light Prime. We know that Lime Light, as you can see, is gonna be a nice, big, large, sun-loving hydrangea. Lime Light Prime is going to be a smaller, petite version of Lime Light. So in the Lime Light family, you have Lime Light, the biggest, Lime Light Prime, the middle, and then of course, Little Lime. So, Limelight Prime is going to be a great option for you folks who need something a little bit bigger than Little Lime, but maybe not quite as big as a Limelight. These guys are only going to get four to six feet tall um, and four to five feet wide. Again, these are pinnacle hydrangeas. They love sun. You will prune them once a year, like in late February, early March, depending on exactly where you live. So basically late winter, early spring. And then they produce these absolutely gorgeous, um, they start out especially on the limelights and the limelight primes, that limey color, and then they'll bring on that little bit of that um, creamy color. So if you need a good um, sun-loving hydrangea, then you cannot go with, wrong with Limelight Prime. And then if you have cool nights, these um, beautiful blooms will turn a pink in the fall. So late summer, early fall, they will turn those beautiful pink hues. Now, moving on Hi, from hydrangeas, look, look at this little firecracker. Do you not love this plant? The color on this barberry is absolutely stunning. This is the brand new Sun Joy Neo. Now, Sun Joy has been a series of proven winners with their barberries, but Neo is new, new Neo. <laughs> this is gonna have that gorgeous red color all season long. It maintains it. You might be able to see here on the backside where the sun has not hit it because it was next to some other ones, it's a nice kind of a green color. So this is really important that you plant Sun Joy Neo in full sun so that you get this bright red color. What's also fantastic about Sun Joy Neo is that it's a petite one. It's not gonna be a huge barberry. It's gonna be nice and petite. Now, like all bar barberries, it does have little thorns in it. So you probably don't want to put this right beside where your kids are going to be running through unless you want to keep your kids out of your flower beds and that would be a great way to do it. This little sweet thing is only going to be two and a half feet tall and wide. Again, great, beautiful pop of color, super easy. It does prefer that well-drained soil so you don't want to put this in a really wet area. And it, like I said, the more sun, the better because you will get that beautiful, deep, reddish burgundy color. Absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, it is just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So, love the Sun Joy Neo. Now, these two little guys right here are new viburnums. So, viburnums are an excellent choice for the landscape. And these both are gonna be evergreen. So let's just go through and talk about what we have here. Now, here, this is actually Yang. So Yang viburnum, there is Yin and there is Yang. You can plant these together. Yin and Yang can go together. 
they look the exact same. I have yin and yang near the patio, and honestly, I can't tell which one is yin and which one is yang. But these are beautiful evergreen shrubs that maybe you don't prefer boxwoods, you want a little something different than a boxwood or a gem box for a foundation planting, then I would really encourage you to look at yin and yang. They are going to be, let me double check on my sizes here, they're going to be two feet tall, four feet wide. So they have that spreading habit um, and they do, you can see that where the new growth is kind of that reddish color. The stems will, I noticed on mine, will get a nice burgundy color um, in the season. And if you plant yin and yang together, they will cross pollinate and you'll get little flowers and then you'll get small little um, blue berries on the plant. Not a blueberry, but a berry that is blue. Um, great option. Really, really pretty. Um, I love this yin and yang. And again, like I said, it is an evergreen. Does fantastic in our southern climate. I planted ours back in um, late fall, winter, and they have done magnificently well. They are in full sun and then right now they are covered in new growth. So yin and yang is a great option. Low and wide. Now, if you're looking for something with some height to it, then Sweet Talker is gonna be an option for you. This is another viburnum, it is an evergreen. Now Sweet Talker is gonna be large. She is gonna get nice and big. You can tell already by her habit that she's wanting to go up. Um, and the great thing about also Sweet Talker is that she does these beautiful pink blooms in late winter, early, early, early spring that has this most magnificent smell to it. So Sweet Talker will get to be, um, let's see the size on this guy, eight to 10 feet tall, three to feet, three to five feet wide. So very similar um, of, of like a Rose of Sharon where they get nice and more of a columnar habit to them than a wide. So if you need something to fill in a space that is an evergreen that will also give you some nice early spring interest, then Sweet Talker is a great option. We have Sweet Talker planted in Laura's bed at the nursery. Um, and this spring, even though she was planted, that was her first year, she had these those beautiful light pink trumpet blooms on them super nice. Now, moving on down to some more flowering shrubs, we have the new introductions of the summerific hibiscus. So right now they kind of look a little bit the same because they are not in bloom. First, let's go with French vanilla. So French vanilla, of course, this summerific series of hibiscus they are perennial. Now, I know especially a lot of people are used to tropical hibiscus and they only last one season. Well, the beautiful thing about these summerific hibiscus is that they are perennials. You, I think they're cold hardy to zones three. So it is extremely zone four. So zone four, which is really cold, um, four to nine is, this, is the zones on these guys. Um, if you're looking for an easy, low maintenance, pop of color in the summertime, then these are great. French vanilla is the first, believe I'm getting this right, um, yellow variety of the Summerific series. Full disclosure, in my opinion, it's a very, very creamy white um, with a little bit of yellow in it. We planted these um, last summer at the house. Gorgeous blooms, absolutely beautiful blooms on it. And, um, great option. Now we have the, the French vanilla and then you have Spinderella. Now Spinderella, she has a bloom that is probably will open either tomorrow or the next day. Um, she's already started blooming. We've taken a couple of them off. Spinderella is that beautiful um, white and light pink, um, almost like a pinwheel of color just an absolutely gorgeous bloom. She will have a little bit of more of a darker foliage to her um, than say like French vanilla. So with those perennial hibiscus, the blooms only last for one day, but there's lots of buds on it. So they are in continuous bloom. Of course, as your plants, the more mature they are, the larger they get and the more blooms are covered on them. And then last but not least for the new introductions this year, this is Quick Fire Fab. Quick Fire Fab is another, another beautiful 
Um, Panicle hydrangea. This is, of course, there's already quick fire and there's little quick fire. This is quick fire fab. She will get six to eight feet tall and five to six feet wide. So she's kind of the counterpart to the um, limelight prime. So it's in that middle zone of the different heights, not the big daddy, but not the smaller version. I could say it's the teenager right there in the middle. At the nursery, again, in Laura's bed, we have this planted and it is absolutely covered in blooms. Beautiful. We love the quick fire fab. Um, it has those gorgeous big blooms. Of course, they turn that pink color. Ours at the nursery are already starting to take on those pink hues to them. Um, this is great as if you wanted to do a hedge of hydrangeas or like we have in Laura's bed, it's just a specimen plant. It anchors the one corner of the bed. Now, again, as a panicle hydrangea, it does love the sun, um, and it is just an absolutely gorgeous, fantastic, and you'll notice that the stems on the quick fire fab have that little bit of that reddish hue to them. Um, so just another interest, even though this one is not in bloom yet, it is covered and has that beautiful red stems to it. Now, a lot of these right now, you're like, well, Jenny, why aren't they blooming? They're supposed to be blooming. Yes, this is the typical time for them to be blooming. But remember, we brought these in um, as quart size containers and potted them up, uh, oh gosh, um, early summer, late spring. And so they're just growing right now. They will bloom as, as the lime, um, like prime is blooming, but first year takes a little bit of time. So not only do we have all the beautiful new introductions, but we have all of the tried and true favorites that we know and love and have used before. So within this area, we have just got tons of plants, um, tons of shrubs that we will be bringing down to the nursery. So if you're looking for like say bobos or the lime lights or um, the fire lights, we have all of those. So please come down um, and see us on Thursdays through Saturday. I cannot leave without talking about this right here. This is vanilla spice. Clearly she is in full bloom. She is covered with bumblebees. Hopefully nobody bothers me. But vanilla spice is a summer sweet. I wish that you could smell this right now. It is just a fantastic smell. Very reminiscent of like a honeysuckle smell. Um, so again, we're getting into the middle of July. Some things are kind of petering out, right? Because the heat is hitting. If you're looking for that pop of color, vanilla spice is a great option for you. These are zones four to nine, three to six tall, three to five wide. Again, the smell is amazing. And looking right behind here, look at this. I didn't even notice this. I'm gonna let Jerry zoom in on this for you. We were talking about Roses of Sharon. Look at that bloom. So this is Pink Ink. It is a Rose of Sharon, so it needs lots of sun. It is going to be five to eight feet tall and four feet wide. So it's gonna be smaller than the Chiffon series of Roses of Sharon. But look at that beautiful bloom. Does that not like remind you of like the tropics, like Hawaii? Um, I just think it's absolutely stunning. So again, those are coming into bloom. Tons and tons of options that we have for you. So please come see us over here. Um, I do wanna show you, Jerry keeps talking to me. <laughs> There's so many things when we were trying to like pull plants for the video, I was like, oh, well, this looks good that we have spireas, the double play doozy. Stunning right now. Um, just gorgeous butterfly bushes and everything. He was wanting me to show you the update on the mums because we haven't talked about the mums lately. So here are the mums, all, I don't know how many hundred there are down here, um, but they are growing really well. We have been watering them fertilizing them. The kids have been helping with us fertilizing. Um, I think we're going to try to go ahead and put some drip, put it on drip irrigation. It has been on the overheads. I think we're going to switch it over to um, some of the drip so we can get the fertilizer to them a little bit better. But they are growing quite nicely um, and doing great. So they will be ready for you this fall. 
So those are doing great. Of course, these are the hibiscus. I mean, we just have tons. Look at those. All of these are hydrangeas. We have the atlas roses, more hydrangeas and hydrangeas and butterfly bushes. Um, so if you are looking for some shrubs to add to your landscape, we have got them. We are happy to help in any way that we can. Um, so come see us at Creekside Nursery in Dallas, North Carolina. Y'all have an absolutely fantastic day and we will see you in the next video. Bye friends.